I am a black female single mother and I'm also a QC. QC or Queen's Council is the highest level of seniority you can achieve as a barrister. It's also a recognition of excellence of the work that I have undertaken. What people need to see is the possibilities beyond any obstacles because I didn't really have a, a good academic record and everyone sort of tended to think I wasn't going to see it through and during the course of my second year I fell pregnant and had my daughter so it seemed that everyone's views on how I would do would come to fruition and quite frankly I sort of thrived on that adversity. A lot of women think that they can't have can't do both, but they can. And I wanted to prove people wrong. So I went back to London, gave birth. Within 10 weeks, I was back in Cardiff sitting my exams. And I passed them all, completed my degree. And by that stage, you know, I, I wanted to be a barrister. From starting out prosecuting and defending, shoplifting, you know, possession of cannabis cases, I'm now doing the most serious cases that an individual can be charged with. Cases of murder, rape, drug trafficking. So there has been a, a, a steep trajectory of the seriousness of the cases that I undertake. For those, you know, facing barriers, I mean, the important message is that you certainly can overcome those barriers. I was trying to go into a profession where, you know, nepotism and influence were basically the things that would get someone into the profession. And when I went for my interview, all of the panel were white in my first interview, and in my second interview, all of them were white men. But it's very different now, but there's still a, a, a massive journey to undertake because I am a QC, but I am only the sixth black female QC in the entire country. 